the coaches have said that this was going to be two weeks of competition. Every position was going to be open. Obviously, you had a few changes on defense. What were some of the ones that you thought made an impact today? You know, there were a lot of changes that made uh, an impact, but. Uh, you know, uh, I don't really look at all that. You know, I just uh, get down uh, and really do my job. You know, uh, there are a lot of new faces for me personally. Uh, I, I don't really like to look at the change. I just like to know the, uh, the personnel I was in. I knew there were two freshmen in at linebacker. So me, it was being more vocal and telling them what to do. Because, you know, I understand the defense as a whole. I know what everybody's doing every single play. So it was with me, with me, my job with the, the all the stuff that happened because all the new competitions and new people playing was talking to my freshman linebackers and telling them what to do every single time I was out on the field. On the right side here, Gabe. Julian, how surprised were you that you guys find yourself in a Essentially, a 60-minute ball game at home against ULM. You know, ULM's a good football team. You know, um, no, I'm not that surprised. You know, ULM played. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I remember watching LSU tape. You know, LSU beat them by a lot of points. But when you actually watch the tape, ULM's a good football team. I'm not that surprised. Back on the right side, Sam. You mentioned you mentioned talking to Otaro and Josh. How do you think they handled it today? You know, I just whenever I think of a freshman starting their first game, I think of my first game. I think they handled it well. There was a lot of times when they didn't exactly do their job, but they're such great athletes that they could make up for it. But I think playing hard and tackling, they did they did that great. So I think they did a good job. Left side, Aubrey. Can you just talk about Miles Garrett's performance? He's just ongoing. It seems like every week he does something else. Uh, yeah, uh, he's just a freak, you know. There's not really much to say about it. I remember joking around with him. I was like, uh, I was like, if I had your talent sometimes, you know. But, uh, you know, I, I, I joke around with him sometimes, telling me as the town of two NFL defensive ends and stuff like that, you know. He's just a great ball player. He's, you know, it's good to have a kid like that around, you know. He, uh, helped, he changes the whole defense. It's just great to have him around. Staying in the back, Daryl. Julian, obviously, there's got, you've got some things to work on before you play Auburn. Can you kind of talk about what you think those are? Um, I haven't really watched the tape on Auburn, but if what if uh, but if they run the same offense, the scheme, same schemes as we run as they were in last year, you know, uh, ULM's offense a little similar. You know, they use that uh, fullback in the center position. You know, run power read, zone read. Might be talking a little bit too much football now, but. <laughs> Uh, their the offenses were similar, but uh, the main thing we're probably going to have to work on this week is tempo with Auburn. Auburn uh, has a very high tempo offense. They have a very athletic quarterback, probably the most athletic quarterback we've faced all season so far. You know, used to play corner at uh, Georgia, I believe. So very, very athletic quarterback, very talented quarterback. I think that's probably going to be the biggest challenge we face is a very athletic quarterback. A couple more for Julian. Anything else up here in the front? Kate? What was the feeling like in the locker room? I mean, with all due respect, this was a win, but it feels kind of subdued around here. You know, a win is a win. You know, Coach Sullivan put it perfectly. 120 teams played today and uh, or play or will play today, and there's going to be 60 winners and 60 losers. So a win is a win. Anything else for Julian? All right. Thank you.